Hi and welcome to Ant Scandinavia. In this video I'm going to show you how to make an epic element bending ant formicarium containing water and land. So stick around to learn how to build it. Before that, let's look at the poll results from last video. There, I asked you what I should call you guys. If you haven't watched the video, please click the i card here to watch it. And the winning name was the Scandinavian Scavengers, submitted originally by Antopia HK. I love this name because it really goes well with my channel name. Good job Antopia HK. So scavengers, are you ready to build this super aquarium vivarium formicarium build? Let's go! The containers I will use for this project is round glass containers. You will need two of them. One small enough to fit in the larger one. And be sure to have a pretty large gap between them. The reason being that the gap is going to be the length of the water barrier. You will understand soon. The smaller container is going to be the land part. And the larger one is going to be the aquarium part. Let's start by making the land part. This is optional, but if you want to see all the inside action, but still have a natural setup, you will need some sort of cylinder in the middle to force the ants to dig around it. This makes the lifetime, or whatever you want to say, for the setup much shorter, because there is not as much space to dig in. However, for smaller starting colonies, this setup will look really cool. As the cylinder, I will use a white horn block. I use a white horn block because it is a really good moisture keeper. And then I won't need a false bottom for the water to be collected in. The white horn will do that for me. So I begin by sketching the cylinder out on the white horn. Then I cut it into a square. And finally sand it down using my Dremel. If you like doing stuff like this, I really suggest getting a Dremel. They are the best. I had to move the camera and stop filming for, well, obvious reasons. Please do this outside. When it was all cut out, I placed it into the container and saw that it was way too tall. So I cut it down. Much better. Now it's time to collect the dirt. I mixed compost dirt to get the microfauna and for it to have as much nutrients as possible and sand for drainage, mold prevention and aesthetics. The amount and type of digging media is up to you, though I recommend using fertile dirt for the plants to enjoy. After that is collected, it's time to put it in the land container. Pour some dirt in the bottom and be sure to remove all rocks from it, otherwise the glass may potentially break in the future. Add the cylinder and fill up the edges with dirt. I used a pencil to push it down for it to have as little air pockets as possible. Now it's time for the decorations. I wanted to achieve a simplistic and minimalistic look, so I did not grab much. I found some cool moss and some other plants. I also got a stick. Then I wanted to get bright and fine looking sand. To do this without wasting any money at a pet shop, you simply find a sand mountain. Walk up close to it and rub it gently, not too hard and not too soft, and collect the sand in a bucket. Beautiful. Now it's time to put it all in place. I added the twig and then the plants in a sort of island pattern, with sand around it. Looking good! Now it's time to make the water part. Fill the larger container with sand and water. Then let the sand sink until you have a murky slash cloudy mixture, pour it out and repeat. If you have an aquarium with sand substrate, you know how to do this, because basically we're making an aquarium here. Repeat it until the dust particles are gone, or almost gone at least. As you can see, it is a big difference. When you have filled it with sand, put the land part into the aquarium part and push it down gently so it is firm. Now it's time to fill the aquarium with life. For this I went to a stream just near my house and scooped up some small critters and plants. Plant as many plants as you want, but be sure to never build a bridge over the water because then the ants on the land part can escape. And now for the first inhabitants. We're little creatures, right? Can any one of you scavengers figure out what they are? Tell me in the comments. In the future, I will add some more cool looking critters to it. But here in Sweden, we are nearing winter, 
so the water is cold as fuck, and most creatures are hard to find. And there you guys have it, an element bending aquarium formicarium vivarium for your ants. Real tongue twister that one. What do you think of the final design? Will you make one of these? Tell me in the comments, and I will see you scavengers next time. Bye!